Hey everyone, Steph here. Now today I am so excited to be filming my entire Chanel bag collection and a few jewelry pieces as well. So my Chanel collection admittedly definitely isn't the biggest. I got my first Chanel bag last year in 2020. Ever since then I've been absolutely hooked. I'm really loving uh, some Chanel bags at the moment and just some of the new colorways that they're bringing out. Now make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I'll be revealing my favorite and least favorite Chanel bag from my collection. Welcome back to all my fellow handbag holics out there. If you are new to this channel and love designer bags and luxury in general, then you are in the right place. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell down below. Okay, let's dive straight into this because we have eight Chanel bags to go through and then I will show you my two Chanel jewelry purchases. First up is my Chanel Deville bag. I debated a Deville bag for quite some time, but I couldn't get the colorway originally that I wanted. Then this one came out in summer last year. This is in the Accru color. So it's like a light cream with the pearl logo on the front. It has like a light tan uh, leather there and the champagne gold hardware on the chain. As soon as I saw like an influencer wearing this, I had to have it. So I contacted my essay and this one came, I think from the Bond Street store in London. Unfortunately in the UK, we're still in lockdown now, but we were in lockdown then as well. And this one had to be shipped to my house. So I did miss out on the whole shopping experience in Chanel. And this was actually my first purchase directly from a Chanel boutique, like ever. The first thing I've ever purchased. Um, but I knew I really loved it. And if you are familiar with this pearl logo, you'll know this also came out in black. That probably would have been a more sensible choice um, than this light cream color. But I have a lot of black bags in my collection. I'm going to be doing a video on that very soon. And I just wanted something for summer that was quite lighthearted. It just looked really nice and just beautiful for when we have nice weather. It is a very heavy bag. I do have it padded at the minute and it has got a liner, a waterproof liner in there because it's absolutely huge. Um, but like I say, I can kind of imagine using this maybe as a bit of a beach bag, a summer bag. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to hopefully having a beach holiday soon and taking this one with me. Next up is one of my most recent purchases. This is the Chanel 19 bag in the 19P Caramel. Um, so I wasn't so fussed on the 19 bag prior to the uh, the 19 P like colors. And I absolutely fell in love with this caramel, but I knew I wanted it in the small. And if you've tried to get one, they can be really hard to get because they basically sold out. I couldn't even get on a wait list for this. Then I saw someone who was thinking of sending this back because there was a slight kind of scratch in the lambskin leather on the back. And I just said to her, look, before you send it back, please can I purchase it? So she let me, I picked it up and yeah, I absolutely adore it. I haven't had a lot of chance to use it. I am slightly concerned that again, lambskin leather, I've never had um, a lambskin leather like this. It's very soft, which is really nice, but I am concerned it's going to be slightly high maintenance. And because this bag was not cheap, okay, I paid retail for this pretty much. And I think it was 4,130 pounds, something like that. So really not a cheap bag. I have never spent prior to this over £4,000 on one bag before. Um, I have a much larger Louis Vuitton collection, um, which I have videoed if you want to check that out. But you could probably get about three to four Louis Vuitton bags um, versus one Chanel bag, which is why my collection is still fairly small. Um, but yeah, I just decided to go to this with this one because I think it's a fairly good investment and I definitely don't have a color like this in my collection. It's like a terracotta and it just goes so nicely with the chain. And the best thing that I like about the 19 compared to some of the Chanel bags is how easy it is to use. So I'll show you again, but with a classic flap, a double flap, uh, the Chanel boy bag, they can be a little bit awkward to get into, um, but the 19 just opens up so nicely and then you get access to the whole bag. So yeah, I'm really excited to start using this one. Next up is my large Chanel 19 tweed bag. Uh, this is in a black tweed. I absolutely love this. So when I first started looking at the 19 bag, I was looking at the caramel leather and also um, a shearling one because they look like fluffy teddy bears. I really, really wanted a shearling, but unfortunately I'd kind of missed the boat on that one. I'm going to have to keep an eye out on the pre-loved market to get one now. Um, but then they had this black tweed, which is kind of like a bobbly black. Um, so it kind of looks a 
it doesn't look like shearling, but it still looks quite textured, which is what I really, really love. Um, I don't think you can go too far wrong with a black and gold bag. I have far too many black and gold bags, but this one is definitely one of my most favorites. I love how the chain drapes down the front. It just adds a little bit more drama to the look of this bag. Again, same thing, you can get in them really easy. So I think the 19 is like a really stylish everyday bag. Um, and that's how I'm going to use this. It's probably gonna be more of a day bag as opposed to an evening bag. Again, a huge investment. I got this one from Harrods in London. Um, and my essay was so helpful. They showed me this in small because that was the size that I originally wanted. But then I happened by chance to pick that one up and I figured why get the 19 in the same size? Why not get a large one? I'm really glad that I did and that I've got both sizes to choose from now because I actually think I will use the large size more than the small. Just because you can get a little bit more in here, it's comparable um, width wise to a Speedy 30 bag, but it's not actually that deep either. So you can get a few things like a bottle of water, uh, keys, a book, things like that, but you can't get too much. So. And I'm loving the way that you can use the 19 bag in like so many different ways with the straps. A few people aren't keen on the fact that it comes with different colored hardware. So you've got like your gold um, and your silver there. I really like this, like whichever way you kind of wear the bag, it looks like an extra piece of jewelry to your clothing. So that that's never really bothered me or been a huge concern. I really like that about the 19. And again, I purchased this in lockdown. So I am very excited to take her for a first outing, hopefully in the next few weeks. Now, after purchasing my first Chanel bag, which was the Chanel DeVille bag, I then knew that I wanted a smaller Chanel bag for kind of summer evenings. Uh, so in May last year, this one came up. Now this was pre-loved, but basically it's in brand new condition. I knew I wanted a boy and I either wanted a pink, that was my like ideal pink and gold, uh, beige and gold, or grey and gold so I wanted something to be quite fun and summery I didn't want black straight away I wanted a different colour because I already have some like black white black and gold YSL bags that I use as evening bags so I wanted something slightly more suited for the summer and then this one came up so this is the twin no 19p grey I think that's right with the antique gold hardware so as you can see, it's literally in like the most incredible condition. And this one came up, they retail at for over 4,000 pounds now, but I got this one at just under 3,000 pounds pre-loved. Um, but like I say, in the most amazing condition. And I thought I would treat myself for my 30th birthday to this bag. I have recently debated selling this to help pay for my 19 bags. Um, but I think I might regret that. And again, because I got this in May last year and we were in lockdown again, I think I've used this bag once um, and I really want to use it this summer. So I'm going to keep it. And I do think that Chanel bags, again, can be quite good investments. The one thing that I will say about the Chanel bag is it's deceivingly small. This is the old medium size. And as you can see in there, the bag looks bigger than what it is. So I think that was my initial surprise at how little fits inside of this bag. Um, I would never get the Chanel Boy in either the large size because I think the proportions don't work. And I also wouldn't get one in a small size. Um, I'll come on to that in a second because there is one here. Um, because for me, I just like to carry a few too many things and this would be like, well, this is the perfect size for me. Staying on the topic of the Chanel Boy bag, um, I'll come back to the classic flap. Um, I purchased another old um, medium boy bag. I absolutely adore this. Um, this is in calf leather with fur and then it has the antique gold hardware chain. But I just think the gold stands out like so much more with this being um, a black bag. This is like my ultimate evening bag. I first saw it on Christine Quinn from Selling Sunset, but she had the small version. And these are so hard to come by because they were from a few seasons ago. So when this one came up at well over, well, yeah, over a thousand pound cheaper than what these bags retail for now and in this condition. So it's basically someone must have purchased this and maybe just loved it but didn't really use it. So it's nearly in like brand new condition. There are no major flaws. When it came up at that price in this colorway, I just had to go for it really quickly. Had no plans to buy this bag. 
um, but I feel like it's one of those bags that I will keep for many, many years. It's definitely not going to be an everyday bag with it being fur because it will go bold eventually. If I were to use it every day, this is literally just going to be like a super special piece, uh, which means a lot to me. This is another reason I debated selling the gray one because I was like, do I need two Chanel boy bags? But I don't know if you agree, but I feel like the gray is more of a kind of summer bag and I feel like this is more of an evening bag. So yeah, I feel like I can wear these in different seasons. The black I can wear all year round, but as an evening bag. And this one is probably going to be more of like a summer evening bag. I've asked on Instagram which one people prefer. They prefer the gray, um, mostly, um, but I think I prefer the black. Now you might be wondering why I have a small boy bag here if I prefer the old medium size. Um, the answer to that is I'm currently filming a video where I'm comparing the old medium to the small because I know people debate this and I've borrowed this from a family member. Thank you, Emma. Uh, she's kindly let me film with this bag and I thought I would include it just in case you kind of wanted to get more of a, an idea of what Chanel bag to go for if you are debating purchasing one. So this stunner is in the black caviar leather with the like gunmetal silver hardware. Absolutely stunning. Again, um, these look bigger than what they are. I'll just show you inside of the bag. I've got the strap here and it's quite small inside of the bag there. You can get a phone in here and maybe a lipstick, maybe a small set of keys, uh, a small purse, you would really be pushing it at that point. So a small, if you don't carry a lot with you and want to kind of be more minimalistic in what you take out, the small could be perfect. I just like to take a little bit more out with me. Now onto this beauty. This is a very recent purchase. This is a vintage Chanel classic flap. This is in the jumbo extra large in black calf skin with the gold hardware. Now this bag is nearly 30 years old, which is incredible. She's definitely, you know, got some kind of battle scars as she's gone through life but I still think it looks absolutely beautiful. Now I really like the Chanel classic flat bag but I've never liked it enough to really want one because I prefer a more edgy look when it comes to my kind of bag collection um, but then I started to notice more and more the vintage ones that came up with the huge gold CC logo on the front and these ones were actually plated with 24 karat gold, which they don't do anymore. Um, so that just, again, adds to um, the elusiveness of this bag. Now, one came up on eBay. I probably got this around a month ago now, so it's very new to me. And yeah, I absolutely adore it. I would quite like this bag in a few different colors. And at first I was like, do I want an extra large bag? Because is it going to be too big? Is it too heavy? It is quite heavy. Um, and it's mainly because this chain here is quite weighty. It's quite a big bag, um, but you can adjust this strap. So you can use it as like a crossbody bag. I could use it as a top handle bag. I can make these the same size and then use it as a shoulder bag. That's how I think I will use this bag the most. But I just love this as a bit of a statement piece. I cannot wait to kind of put on maybe more of a casual looking outfit and then just pop this bag on for a bit of just effortless elegance. And finally, this is my beautiful business affinity bag. I purchased this one pre-loved and it was again, saving around a thousand pounds on retail when I purchased this. This is in the large size and it's in a stunning nude light pink kind of color with champagne gold hardware. Um, it's really big, like you get a lot of compartments with this bag. So you've got like the zipper compartment, the main compartment, and then your pocket on the back of the bag there. So it's really, really useful. However, um, this bag is not the lightest because there is a lot going on with the business affinity. And I have come to the conclusion, I've done a video recently on the bags that I am selling and why, and this is one of the bags that I've decided to sell. Uh, the reason being is for a bag of this size, I would just pick up my 19 bag as opposed to the business affinity. Um, I wouldn't use this as an evening bag. I think it's too large. I would take one of my Chanel boy bags out. So yeah, 
even though I love this bag, there just isn't really a place for it in terms of um, my life and a bag that I would gravitate towards. So there's probably no point in me keeping it, but it is very, very beautiful, very kind of summery, which I really like about this bag. Really loving the color and the champagne gold hardware. But if I, I would like another business affinity, I like the bag that much, but I would go for a small or a medium for my next purchase. So those are all my Chanel bags and I have two pieces of Chanel costume jewelry here. Um, I'm not so into jewelry and to pay for costume jewelry, which isn't real gold, um, it can be quite expensive. Um, a lot of people just say, don't bother with the costume jewelry and go for real gold jewelry. Um, I decided to get these because I just absolutely love the pieces. Okay, so the first one, which was in this box, which you might have already noticed, I'm wearing it here. This is the Chanel CC necklace. I'll show you there. And it's got Chanel like embossed into it, which is really nice. And yeah, I just fell in love with this piece. For anyone who likes these jewelry pieces, by the way, um, they were part of the collection in 2020. Then they totally sold out because they were so popular, but now Chanel are bringing them back as like a staple line. So if you contact Chanel or your SA, they should be able to get you a piece. Um, you might just have to wait a little while until they get one in. But yeah, I really don't regret this, even though it is costume jewelry. Um, I purposely made sure I went for something that didn't have any pearls or kind of diamantes in. I just wanted like a solid piece so that I can wear it for years and years without things falling out of it. That was really important. So whenever I buy something that is quite expensive, I want to know that I'm going to use it a lot. It's just a gold CC logo. Of course, I'm going to wear it a lot and that, you know, nothing can really hopefully go too wrong with it. So then for my second piece of Chanel jewellery here, um, I managed to find the matching earrings, which were equally as popular. And I just think they are just like the most adorable pair of earrings there. So again, they've got Chanel embossed into them. These ones are for pierced ears. I definitely think I would get more Chanel costume jewelry. A lot of people say that it's really not worth the money, um, but I think these cost, these were around 250 pounds. I think I paid over retail because they'd already sold out. So I think I paid around 350 for these. Um, but again, I was like, Do you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep these for so many years. They're so cute. They're kind of understated, but you know, you can still tell it's a CC logo. So I decided to go for it. But if you uh, do want a set of these, again, ask your SA at Chanel and they'll be able to get you one. I promised at the start of this video that I would reveal my favorite and least favorite bag from my collection. So this is super hard because I love all of my Chanel collection. Um, but the bag that I actually love the most would be my black and gold boy bag is my favorite piece. When I first got this bag, I had it in its box and I would put it next to my bed. This might sound weird. Um, I would put it next to my bed. So every morning I would wake up and see it. I cannot just, I've taken photos and filmed with this bag and I feel like the amazingness of it doesn't come through on camera very well. But when you see it in real life, it's just absolutely stunning. Um, and this, I can just tell is going to stay in my collection, hopefully forever. I can just see this working for like, so many years and yeah, I just absolutely adore it. So my favorite piece of jewelry would be the necklace. I really love this. You can also adjust it to make it longer as well. So if you're wearing something like a jumper or a low cut top and you want something to dangle a bit more, you can do that. So I think that this necklace is just the most amazing investment. Now, when it comes to the bag that I like the least out of my collection, um, you might've already guessed this as we were going through um, the filming. It is the large business affinity bag. And it's not because I don't like the business affinity, because I love it. Um, it is more the fact that unfortunately this is the wrong size for me and whilst the colour is stunning I would only really use it in summer. So because these are such sizable investments um, yeah I think this one will make someone else very happy but in terms of a bag of this size I would pick up the 19 every single time. So yeah, this is my least favorite. Let me know in the comments down below what you think to my Chanel bag and jewelry collection, which would be your favorite piece and why. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you have found it useful, but make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I will link my latest video release here for you and down below as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that.